Hi guys, so this evening I'll just do a quick video. I think I'm Britain, I should never do that. Um, the RX10 Mark IV set up in front of me. I've got the Pixel King Pro high speed sync uh, transmitter there and the receivers on my Roselite AOS over there in the distance. That you can really see it, but um, in front of that I've basically got a um, an old retro camera. So I'm going to zoom in on it. Focus on it, and a lot of the time, I once I focused, I just go manual focus toggle. So it's literally I'm not going to touch it now. So with the Pixel King Pros and the Roselite EOS, I've had to turn the ISO up to ISO 2500. One because we're shooting f4, and I've gone for the highest uh, sync speed that we can possibly get on the RX10 Mark IV with flash, which is it turns out. 1,000, uh, sorry, one four thousandth of a second. I thought it was probably going to be one eight thousandth of a second. It's not. Um, the A7R3, the A9, the A7 III, the A7R2 um, are all one eight thousandth of a second. So you've got a bit more benefits outside in bright light. Um, but at the moment, in control conditions, we're shooting here. So um, it's also an interesting. This is this is surprising me actually. I thought the burst rate might have been higher. So this is wild, obviously wireless flash. Um, that is its full burst. So quite slow actually. Where the A7R3, for example, the A7 III will do 10 frames a second burst on flash. Um, obviously, I'll probably never ever fill the buffer up doing this slow. Um, but there you go. So one four thousandth of a second, nice and sharp. ISO two thousand five hundred. Um, Obviously, we can bring the ISO down, back down to say 100, and the shot is going to be well underexposed. Um, so, bring the shot speed back down to say 1 400th of a second, it's probably still underexposed. Not bad, a bit less, 1 200th maybe. There we go. That's probably about right, there you go. So, be interesting to see the comparison difference actually with that and ISO 100 and ISO 2500 side by side um, as shots just for noise levels and things like that. Um, the Pixel King Pros are brilliant, they're about £140 for a pair um, and once you've uh, set one up on the camera one becomes the transmitter, the other one becomes the receiver. The receiver is uh, on the Rotolite EOS and uh, that will, you know, it's a good range, I think 100, 100 feet, 100 metres, something like that. Uh, no trouble at all, high speed sync and you can have obviously more than one uh, connected. Uh, brilliant bit of kit. There's the there's plenty of other ones, Godox ones are out there now but they also have dedicated flashes that you can you know um, set up with um, and the Ellen Chrome I think um, is now compatible with the Rotolite EOS generally anyway because the Rotolite EOS has got a built-in transmitter and I think the Neo 2 has now as well and also the uh, Nova Pro uh, Mark II as well from Rotolite, so you basically got an easy, easy route there. I stayed with the separate transmitters one because I can stick my flash gun straight on it. That that's my benefits there. Um, yes, it's brilliant to have a receiver inside the um, the AOS, but it means you have to buy a second receiver if you if you want to use your flash gun as well. But I generally just use that. Um, other than that, that's it guys, um, so one four thousandth of a second is its maximum burst rate um, and uh, yeah so even, yeah, it's just, it is a lot slower. So that is one downside of the RX10 Mark IV, its burst rate on flash, wireless anyway, is is a little bit slower. I will try it out with the flash gun directly on, on the camera, see if that is any different, but I don't know, uh, I don't think it will be. Um, you know, so that is it really guys, so um, the features in, in this video, one will be um, ISO 2500, the, others, the other one, sorry, when I've turned the flash down and also sorted the exposure out, uh, is ISO 100, so we'll see the, the image quality difference as well, which is obviously a good little test in controlled uh, conditions. So here's the first image, the one that was ISO 2500 and at one four thousandth of a second. You can see a little bit of noise there. This is straight out of the camera. No, no editing, nothing. 
the uh, the line down the side on the right hand side there is just actually on the on the actual perspex, so it's nothing to do with the actual image itself. Uh, you can see it it works, um, and that one four thousandth of a second is absolutely fine. It's just the burst rate. The burst rate suffers. So where you are in uh, non-flash, so you're just using the shutter speeds as in daylight, you've got 24 frames a second. In flash mode, by the looks of it, wirelessly anyway, you've only got about three. Um, so that hinders it quite a bit. So this is a ISO 100. You can see the image is much cleaner. Um, straight out of the camera again. No, no, uh, no difference. You know, it's a completely different. Uh, a ball game and that was actually shot one two hundredth of a second ISO 100 f4 so both f4 uh, just yeah just a comparison really um, but hopefully that helps uh, help people out there let's say one four thousandth of a second is flash sync the maximum flash sync um, and that's it so please subscribe guys please share push the little bell thing for notifications and please comment I'm up for you know trying to help people out so um, chat soon